Last December, I had an epiphany. I was living beyond my means. I wonder if anyone else has ever had that realization. <laughs> I'm Julie Williams, and I'm 34 years old. I was in credit card debt, just breaking even on my business, and barely making a dent in $40,000 of student loan debt. Something had to give, something big, or I would be stuck in this lifestyle until I was 44. So I wondered, what if I didn't spend any money for a year? How much could I save? What would I actually need? What could I go without? What would I learn? So I remodeled my budget, cutting nearly everything except for groceries, gas, medication, and bills. That way, I could double down on my monthly loan payments. But let's be clear, I chose this. Voluntarily living on the bare minimum is a privilege, and many of the necessities that are in my budget would be a luxury to others. This year, I've realized that my relationship with money is completely dysfunctional. Passive, entitled, complacent, self-centered. As I explored my relationship with money, I started having to examine my relationship with stuff and with resources and with people. Money is the way that I relate to the world. And the way I use money this year has shown me how I'm showing up in the world. Surprisingly and disappointingly, most often it was transactional. Not a give and a take, just a take. I was using money and stuff and resources and people to meet my needs. My relationship with my best friend Katie is different. It's not a transaction, it's an exchange. We support each other equally. And this is how I long to show up in the whole world. But our world makes that really hard sometimes. Personally, my deep sense of scarcity, of not enough, is often triggered. Not enough time, not enough resources, not enough money. And when I'm feeling out of sync with the world, when I'm feeling resentful or not heard, I take things for granted, like clean water. I go out and I buy things or I eat out to make myself feel better. I consume instead of seeing money as a tool. Someone told me this year, Money is a means to living deliberately. How about I tell you a couple stories? This summer, I fell in love with a used armchair. I turned to friends, and I wrestled deeply with this decision. I could use the money from my grandparents, but I'd be buying something. A couple weeks later, I was offered a brand new Patagonia puffy jacket. I turned the store down and instead asked them to repair it and give it another seven years of life. See, it's not about the money. It's about the motivation and the meaning. Take my car. Sure, it's a vehicle, but it gives me a sense of freedom. I can go wherever I want. Every morning, I walk out into my huge apartment and I feel this overwhelming sense of wealth. Yes, I bought the chair, and I named it Butterscotch. All of these people have helped me this year. Friends, family, acquaintances, even a few strangers. And they have filled me with gratitude because what they had to offer was exactly what I needed, and that's how healthy relationships are starting to look in my life. I've got a long way to go, but it's a beginning, and I'm on my way. I've put $7,000 towards my student loans. I have a zero credit card balance, and saving helps me focus on living well. I feel richer 
than I ever have before. Thank you.